Hello, Mr. Person of YouTube. So I think you'll like this video. Give me a chance. Um, sorry that my videos aren't that eventful or exciting. So feel free that if you're um, bored of listening to music or had your fill of politics for the day, you can listen to this qualified boomer rant of a person that's very versed in this subject while you're uh, cleaning the house or taking a dump or fixing the cat litter box. But who am I? What's my credentials? Why you should listen to me? So I'm almost Generation X age. I grew up just like Generation X in the time of the satanic panic and the time of the what like tele evangelists and like Jimmy Swagger versus Ozzy Osbourne. I lived in the time before YouTube and social media and stuff where you can see atheists versus creationist or theist arguments before you could uh, find out what was called the tag of the transcendental argument for God or other um, people like famous renowned atheists that you probably already know the names. So uh, that's my credentials. I became a heavy metal person and I have believed that demonic forces were helping me achieve things in life that I wanted to get done. I'm talking to you at work. I'm obviously a tactical scarecrow, AKA security guard for a living. And this was me back when I was a heavy metal person. And I believed it was helping me get chicks and like the devil was and not God. This is one of my most uh, famous, I mean, popular rock stars from the band Slayer. I used to tell chicks that I was his, that I was his son. Like they said I looked just like him. Um, good for me. So I hate it when dudes brag about getting chicks. And uh, I understand how atheists, they either grew up Christian and if God exists, they hate, they hate that God. Or uh, supposedly other intellectuals out there, scientists or whatever, have good arguments about why the existence of God is unlikely. I've heard all the arguments <clears> or <throat> cases about how the biblical God is like genocidal and tyrannical. And all the subjects or anything that you can iterate in the comments feel free. I've more than likely heard them all. And uh, I'm just trying to show you that I come from a time where basically dark shit, Satanist shit, uh, rock, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and atheism was very uh, copious or rampant, or whatever you fill in the word. So basically, I'm telling you why a person like me who has heard everything there is to hear on both sides of the coin doesn't embrace atheism and uh, allow me to shoot off the hip. So the reason why I make this video is lately I've just been encountering a lot of atheist arguments and whatever. Uh, there's a really cool dude that I know, he works here. He wants to get a very, very blasphemous tattoo. Ironically, after announcing that he wanted to get that blasphemous tattoo, he, uh, something happened all over the phone where he, apparently could lose thousands and thousands of dollars and he's a really cool guy i hope that doesn't happen to him but for all we know it's god saving him from spending money on a tattoo that can curse himself and so let me just ramble about my story i appreciate it right now i'm settling in the work as a frozen coffee that i can barely drink so Thanks for being here. Where do I begin? So, I noticed that a lot of atheists, right? Um, I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm trying to help you out. So, you believe this God is fictitious, but you seem awfully, awfully passionate to troll or iterate or debunk anybody who posts, who I cuss a lot who post God shit or talk about God. You like to troll God shit. And you give iterations about how 
is scientifically refuted or it's ridiculous or God's uh, if the biblical God exists he's a genocidal tyrant or that it's impractical with um, you know scientifically and then albeit because uh, I want to tell you that I was there I, I used to uh, hate God and I entertain the idea of atheism or the occult all of the above I say that nonchalantly but I don't think no, there's not many people who are worst case subjects to be talking about the subject and I don't really want to elaborate uh, we have we have like microphones at this job camera microphones that people here probably think I'm already crazy enough so with all that said atheists will show passion to debunk a god they don't believe exists and then they'll fix themselves or defend themselves as in they'll state that they they're only passionate about debunks, debunking an ideology that they deem is socially toxic and has brought a lot of trouble upon mankind or they are just trying to be like an elitist intellectual and try to refute and try to say basically that theists are superstitious and uh, ridiculous. So basically what I'm trying to say is it's like a lot of uh, theists will argue back like, wow, you guys are very passionate and only hate one particular God for some reason. And I understand that atheists will say, oh, it's only because we live in a Christian environment, so we have no need to uh, talk shit on Allah or Zoroaster or some other shit. I gotta let the cat out. Give me one second, please. Did you call me? She's okay. The cat's okay. She's, she's chilling. I have earplugs in. I thought I heard her. Just fed this cat. You should look at my other videos with this cat I have. So anyways. Um... So I'm basically laying the, laying the groundwork of how I've heard everything and experienced it all. And, you know, I mean, I, I know a lot of people have had a lot of more ups and downs than I have. I'm not saying like I'm like special. I'm just saying that it takes one to know one. I understand both sides, okay? So allow me to just uh, shoot off the hip while a person that comes from the atmosphere and the influences that I have of why I don't embrace or believe in atheism. Now, I could talk about ostensible paranormal activity that I've experienced in my life that I believe was brought upon the occult, but I'll respect your atheist beliefs and that you just will think I'm crazy or superstitious and that I basically manifested that self in my own brain glitch for thinking about it too much. Um, I want to tell people out there that Hypothetically speaking, if God exists, if you're mad at God for certain things not going right in your life, uh, past or present, and uh, like you see, um, atheists and theists, we're at a war right now, like arguing really hard and everything, but honestly, uh, this is brought about by bad blood. I think there's some atheists out there that just want to troll and just want to stir the pot and talk shit. And um, I think uh, that the comfort, the contentiousness there is deserved. But as for the ones that are honestly seeking answers, they can't believe in this God. They have good reasons to not believe in this God or not believe that this God is good, just or holy, and all, all of that positive talk. Um, I, I think I want to tell you that the simple fact that you have a notion of what's right and wrong or what is uh, justice or injustice, fair and unfair, uh, the wrong that you perceive in your life or in the world, um, transcendentally speaking, uh, the 
biblical God, the Christian God, is the epitome of everything virtuous, good, fair, just, and um, your notion of what's right and wrong, it actually comes from God. Now, if you have Protestant influences, if you have good Protestant people trying to pull you to go to their church and all that, it, by all means, I don't want to stand in the way of that. If I talk shit and denigrate Protestantism, and if there's any Protestant soliciting, and if you're cool, I kind of apologize. I'm very, um, what's that called? Um, hyperbolic. I want to say, I want to tell you guys, atheists, whoever, that I think that evangelical Protestantism or whatever mainstream Western Christianity has fucked you guys mentally. Us, you know, whoever grew up with all this stuff. Because they make it seem like God is this giant cosmic genie teddy bear punching bag that's like lonely for souls. And if you like believe hard enough or recite the proper biblical incantations to remind God that he's eventually supposed to act to fix whatever problem you have. And if it doesn't work out for you, then you just didn't have enough faith. And that it's your fault. And then you go to these Protestant churches with a bunch of Ned, Flan Ned Flanders ass, the Spoon of the Simpsons, bunch of Ned Flanders ass, happy, go lucky, cookie cutter, suburban, you know, like high middle class panty wastes that can afford to believe whatever the fuck they want because life is all peachy cream for their fucking bitch asses and they can afford to hide behind the cross to make up for their lack of machismo and fucking self-induced, embraced, fucking beta male ass fucking mentality. And they can uh, blow smoke up your ass. Or even if they're like alphas and sigmas and like rootin' tootin' hard working country folk and jocks. That are just like, oh man, you need to believe in the good lord. And shoot beer cans in your backyard. Vote for MAGA. And if you have some kind of problem with that. Or... If life's not working out for you, then it's your own fault because you, like, don't have faith or you're, like, not praying enough or maybe you're a sinner. You know, uh, the book of Job in the Bible talks about this. If you're having a lot of problems in life and you can't figure out why God is basically taking a giant shit on your existence and then you have uh, people giving blowing smoke up your ass they give you stupid fucking advice that only works for them because, like, everything is happy-go-lucky and fucking working out for them. But you can't figure out why the cosmos is taking a big giant shit on your fucking existence. And they're giving, they're, they're basically bitching at you. Like, just cheer up, man. Like, have faith. Like, shit's not working out for you? Well, fuck it, it's your own fault. Because you lack faith. You're not praying hard enough. You just gotta endure the storms and uh, fly over the problem and, and while you pray in the spirit and roll around the floor barking in tongues with a Benny Hen fireball Pentecostal churches. By the way, look up this church is insane. Uh, Pastor Randy Balls, B A W L Z. Uh, Circus, cir remember this, Circus of Power, Mega Mega Church. Look up that video, and that's basically my Protestant church experience. Uh, this, you, you were a metalhead, and you were a, a heavy metal dude, and, a, uh, a, and rock and roll. How did you, end up, why did you go to church? Uh, my friends would impregnate a bunch of chicks at church and their mother-in-laws would all force us to go and we try not to go we try to chill in the parking lot smoke weed mac, mac out with fat chicks skateboard and wrestle i suck at skateboarding but um so 
The cosmos is taking a big giant shit on your fucking superfluous existence, random nihilistic existence. And you have these annoying fucking people telling you, well, God's got your back. And you know for fuck sure that it doesn't seem that way. Uh, and now you're atheist and all that. Uh, I get you, man. Like, <laughs> might as well become a metalhead. You know, I've always been telling dudes, I remember these dudes, they like, uh, they, they were ugly ass fools and they were trying to, um, like dress nice and like be hip hop and rap culture. And they're talking like, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're flossing with the posse and, 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 and hitting the switches and, and pimping the bitches. And I knew it wasn't working out for them. And I was like, bro. You should get in the rock and roll and heavy metal. It makes ugly guys sexy. That's a tangent. Um, I get you. And I think that evangelical Protestantism, the point of the story is, evangelical Protestantism makes God seem like this happy, hippie, punchy, bag, genie, teddy bear that's just dying to fucking give you your heart's dreams and desires. If you just... If you just believe hard enough, or remember to find the right biblical passage to cite as an incantation to remind him that he's supposed to do some favor for you. And if it magically doesn't happen, it's your fault for a lack of faith or having some kind of unrepentant sin. Evangelical Protestantism sucks and it's fucking annoying. I met um, a Romanian Orthodox dude his name was Isaac, and he was a bad motherfucker. And the older I get, the more I realize he's fucking right about everything. He red-pilled me about the whole fucking world, and he's missing or dead. He's that crazy. Had a bunch of, like... He had a bunch of fucking, like, AK-47s, and, like, real fucking swords and shit. I don't mean, like... I mean, like... Cold Steel, the company, could try to replicate the swords he had... And they're gonna end up being like 200 bucks at least. You know, fucking bad motherfucker. I miss Isaac so much. He was a real good dude. And he, ta he taught me about orthodoxy. Orthodoxy is a very mystical and seemingly dark looking religion. And what I basically learned from him is the same reason that God isn't just gonna magically manifest or fucking... Same reason why God isn't just gonna magically fix all your problems or give you whatever the fuck you want is basically the same reason why the devil can't just inflict you with leprosy or get you in a major car accident or fucking outright kill your family. These gods these spiritual forces, even if you don't believe in this shit, just bear with me, hypothetically speaking, if they exist. They operate in the physical realm where there has to be patience, procedure, methodology, and works and rewards and punishments and consequences and rewards, being redundantly speaking, to our free will choices and actions that not only can affect ourselves immediately or in the long term, but they can affect others also in the immediate or long term. If I pointed a gun at you and decided to take your life, maybe if you were fasting and praying that day, something could circumvent it. But the Bible kind of talks about we're like many gods. It says, ye are gods, but you will die like men. Is there some, something in Psalms you can Google it? We live in a world that's like half heaven and half hell, and you can you can inflict your will, and it's a lot easier to destroy than to build. And the same reason why, again, God isn't just going to magically fix or give you all your shit is the same reason why demonic forces can't just fuck your shit up automatically. Uh, if you like this video, it's going to be to be continued. Uh, that my phone will only like upload like 20 minute videos at a time so I'm gonna have to make a part two of this guys so please look out for the my channel 
the same name as this video, but part two. God bless.